it's just unfortunate that there's a time where we have to learn and to understand that some in some things whether you want to believe them or not we have to agree to disagree and agree to agree that they are real but for you not to believe that they exist it does not mean they don't exist listen there are people who suffer differently we experience different spiritual things that if do it to explain to you, you wouldn't understand. For instance, I have seen people at churches when they are prayed for, they fall down. Myself, for one, I have never ever fallen for once. I don't know what they feel. So to me, such things like it doesn't exist. It's easy for me to say, it can be easy for me to say, nah, they're just fake. Nah, it's bad. There are people who fall. There are people who manifest. And allow me to tell you that I have seen demons manifesting and they would refuse to go. They would refuse to leave saying, this is my home. You find that they are too stubborn because in the past, through the generation, they've been th that person, such an individual has been dedicated to those demons. Sometimes unaware, you think that they think they are gods. They are it's our in our culture, but they are given a resident or a place to stay listen they are not playing they are not playing the devil is not playing it is real people are being tormented that's why some they go to to to, to end up being uh initiated to become sangomas witch doctors because they have no rest those things they can't give them peace but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever your parents might have done, your generation, your grand, your grandparents in the past, I pray now I disconnect you. You are connected with the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how stubborn those things are, whatever has connected you to generational ancestors, I disconnect you right now in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Be delivered. Father, pray for yourself and I deliver you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And on Ishmael, and that's all I had. See you next time.